Hey YouTube, coming at you today, uh, just going to do kind of a quick product review. I just got this in the mail today. It is the Fluval um, Surface Skimmer. So I'm going to hook this up uh, on the 90 gallon here to uh, hopefully get rid of the, the film that I've got going on up here. Just going to hook it up to the... Uh, call it the uh, aqua top <laughs> canister filter on the intake uh, sorry about that brain fart and uh, see how she works but um, I've heard good things about these uh, they, they seem to do the job removes organic uh, film on the water surface helps uh, improve the oxygen exchange so yeah looks like it's pretty easy to set up the directions are all on back here so um, I'm going to go ahead and set it up uh, and I'll show you guys once I've got it set up and then I'll show you kind of a before and after as far as uh, if it really did get rid of the, the surface film. Alright, be back at you in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and install it right now. Um, basically, whoops. I've taken off the inlet strainer type thing to my. It's not gonna fit. There we go. To my filter. Sorry. Okay, so I got it hooked up, and as you can see in here, it is skimming now, it's sucking in water from the top. This uh, plastic piece at the top, the strainer part or whatever I'll call it, and hold the flashlight in point, this kind of floats with the water level. This middle piece here is to adjust the amount of uh, flow coming in. Uh, the one thing I will say is that there isn't good directions that come with this. As a matter of fact, the only type of directions you get are a couple of diagrams that are printed on the back of the package. But I was able to figure it out and pretty self-explanatory by the diagrams. So, so it looks like it's skimming great. Um, seems like it's going to work out just fine. And uh, I'll give you kind of a shot in a little while here after it's cleared up some of the film in the water. One thing I had to do too was uh, I had to bring my, here it is from the water point of view, um, you can see kind of like a tornado in there, I don't know if you can see it now, the low water is kind of cloudy of course because I was in there working and everything stirred up, but what I was going to say is I had to bring my spray bar over to this side because it was basically spraying out and then trying to suck in in the same area, which didn't, didn't do any good, so. And of course the fish are all stressed out in the corner now, but I'm thinking this should work good. Uh, one more quick view of it. And uh, I'll show you in a little while uh, what the result is and we'll see if it really works. Okay, so everything's set up and it's been running for a while. I've had to make quite a few adjustments on it, but I think I got it now. Um, there is some problems with uh, with micro bubbles. Uh, you know, you hook this up through your canister filter. Um, but anyway, it seems to be working good. Um, there is also an intake uh, uh, like strainer down at the bottom too, so it's sucking in water from the bottom and the top. And you have to make uh, quite a few fine adjustments, but um, it's working. There's no more film at the top. I don't know if you can tell right now or not. Um, 
There's some micro bubbles floating around, but uh, it is film free. I don't think it might be showing up as well in the video, but I mean, here's a look from the top. I mean, it's there's no film, so so overall for I don't know 17, 18 bucks, whatever the thing cost, I would say it's a good deal as long as I can continue to run it without seeing micro bubbles. So again. Fluval surface skinner. Here's the package, and I, uh, I would give this a thumbs up. Um, if you got problems with uh, surface film on your water, uh, try one of these out. All right, guys, that's uh, that's my review on this product. Thanks for watching, and we'll uh, talk to you next time.